Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now we are starting a book called Medina Arabic Course. Okay, so this book is three volumes. You will have the PDF uh, in the description for volume one, two, three. I will put all three in the description, but download the volume one right now. And we are going to cover this book uh, for doing the spoken Arabic practice. How we speak Arabic. Now, for whom is this lesson? This lesson is just lesson one. Okay everything restarted so either you can revise or you can start from the beginning if you just know alif ba ta sa and you know the to read the arabic this course is for you now ad darsul awwal if you look at this let's first have a look on what this is so uh, you see here haza baitun haza masjid so this is a house this is a masjid from if we start from here and we go to stuff like uh, page 30 uh, liman haza Whose is this? Hazihi li Khalidin. This is for Khalid. This belongs to Khalid. And we go to we go and we see conversations happening, like uh, uh, in page fifty, like Muhammad is saying, "Lughti Arabiya tu al Arabiya tu." That my lughat, my my language is Arabi, and ahiya lughatun sahalatun. And uh, Hamid is questioning that is this language an easy language? So we see the last. If you look at the last line, Muhammad says, "Naam." I have, uh, yes, I have one brother. Ismahu is Usama too. His name is Usama. And so we say, we see how whole conversations are made. We will learn how whole conversations are made. Like in page 70, we say, Man ha ulai al fatayatu ya Maryamu. Who are these young girls, O oh Maryam? So, this is the kind of stuff we will properly study in this book. This is only the volume 1. Volume 2 deals more with verbs. Volume 1 deals less with verbs and more with nouns. Volume 2 deals more with verbs, less with noun. And Volume 3 is like very advanced level. So, let's begin. Ad-Darsul Awwalu. The, the first lesson. Okay. Ad-Darsu. Dars means lesson. Al-Awwalu. The first. The first lesson. This is actually noun plus adjective combination. We will learn about it a lot later. Right now, what we will learn in this lesson is here you read Haza. Haza means this. So we are learning how to use this in a sentence. So here you will see Haza Baitun. This is a house. Haza Masjidun. This is a masjid. So Bait, Masjid. Bait means house. Masjid means mosque. Now you can see that Baitun and Masjidun has double Dhamma on top of it. Right? Double Pesh on top of it. Now every noun like Bait, Masjid, here Bab, Kitab, all of these nouns will have a double dhamma or a double fatha or a double kasra or a single dhamma or a single fatha or a single kasra what it means is either it will be baitun baitan baitin or it will be baitu baita baiti okay some symbol will be there at the end of the words when which symbol is given we will study later on here we are seeing by default by default if there is no other reason we will just put double dhamma on it and we will keep on studying reasons why we change this symbol. Okay. So here we say Haza Baitun. This is a house. There must be some other reason why we would say Baitin. There must be some other reason why we would say Baitan. There must be another reason why we would say Baitu. We will study it as the lessons progress. Everything will be studied in this course via examples. So here we say Haza Baitun. This is a house. Haza Masjidun. This is a masjid. Haza Babun. Babun. Bab means door. Haza kitabun. Kitab means book. Haza qalamun. Qalam means pen. So what does all of this mean? Haza baitun is this is a house. This is a masjid. This is a door. This is a book. Haza kitabun. This is a qalam. Haza qalamun. This is a pen. Haza qalamun. Haza miftahun. This is a pen. You are supposed to read it along with me. Because this is spoken Arabic. You have to say it to learn. So you have to say it to learn it. Haza maktabun. This is a bu uh, This is a desk. Maktab. This is a desk. Haza sarirun. This is a bed. Haza kursiyun. This is a chair. You also have to memorize this vocabulary. Must memorize this vocabulary. So, bait, house, masjid, mosque, bab, door, Kitab, book, qalam, pen, miftah, miftah, okay, key, uh, maktab, desk, okay, all of these things are in your t in your room only, I mean, not masjid is not in your room, but most of these things are in your house only, uh, sarir, bed, and uh, kursi is chair, 
Now let's go to the next page. This is an interesting one. Here we are going to learn ma haza. So we learned haza. Haza means this. Now we are learning ma haza. Ma means what. So we say what is this? Ma haza. What is this? What ma haza this? What this? Basically it means what is this? So ma haza. What is this? Let me tell you a golden rule. There is nothing for the word is in Arabic. So if you see ma haza what this it means what is this okay so ma haza what is this ma haza what is this haza baytun this is house this is a house house or a house same thing haza baytun this is a house now look at the next one what is this read it try to read it a haza baytun so there is an alif in the beginning of haza baytun okay haza baytun alif in the beginning a haza baytun whenever this happens that there is a sentence and there is an alif in the beginning of the sentence it means that sentence has been converted into a question into an interrogatory question like haza baytun means this is a house a haza baytun is this a house is this a house so if you want to say is this a house is this a pen a haza baytun a haza qalamun a haza masjidun a haza miftahun okay so here it is saying a haza baytun is this a bait is this a house answer naam yes has a baitun this is a house here you have the photo of the house so yes this is a house next ma haza what is this haza kamisun this is a what is this this is a shirt okay haza kamisun kamis is shirt a haza sarirun you have to memorize this vocabulary a haza sarirun is this a sarir is what sarir is you can see in the previous page sarir is bed Okay, so a haza sarirun is this a bed? La, no. Haza kursiyun. This is a chair. Next one, a haza miftahun. Miftah is what? Key. Okay, key. So a haza miftahun is this a key? La, no. Haza qalamun. No, this is a pen. Ma haza. What is this? Haza najmun. Okay, najmun. Najm means uh, star. So haza najmun. This is a star. Now next, we will quickly cover. It says tamreen. Tamreen means exercise. So whatever we have studied, now we are looking at the exercises. And notice here there is no damma fatha kasura, no uh, pesh zabar zair. Damma means pesh, fatha means zabar, and uh, kasra means zair in Arabic. Okay, remember this. So ma haza, what is this? So you have to answer what is this? Ma haza here, what is this? This is a miftah. So haza miftahun. Okay, next one. Ma haza. So what is this? This is haza kitabun. What is the next one? Ma haza. This is a pen. Haza qalamun. Ma haza. What is this? This is a door. Haza babun. Ma haza. Haza baytun. Ma haza. Haza kursiyun. Okay. Next page. Uh, tamreen second. So the second. The tamreen two. The second exercise. A haza baytun, it questions us that is this a house? We see no, this is not a house, this is a masjid. So we say la, no, la haza masjidun, no, this is a masjid. Now, next one, a haza miftahun, is this a key? We say no, la haza qalamun. So a haza qamisun, is this a shirt? Naam, yes, naam means yes, this is a shirt. Naam, a haza qamisun, a haza najmun. Is this a star? Naam has a najmun. Next, tamreen three. Iqra wa uktub. Okay, iqra wa uktub means iqra read and uktub write. This is verb. You do not need to know this right now. Iqra wa uktub is a question, and here we have to read whatever is written over here. Haza maktabun. So we read it and write it. That's what the question is saying. So haza maktabun. This is a desk. Haza masjidun. This is a masjid. Has a qalamun, this is a pen. Has a sarirun, this is a bed. Has a ma haza, what is this? Has a kursiyun, this is a chair. A haza baytun, is this a house? La, has a masjidun, no, this is a masjid. Ma haza, what is this? Has a miftahun, this is a key. We are inshallah going to cover the second portion. The second portion is man haza. So right now we were covering ma haza, what is this? Now we will cover man haza. Who is this? If you look at the first one, man haza, who is this? Haza tabibun. This is a doctor. So, uh, we will look at man haza in the next lesson, inshallah ta'ala. Wa akhiru da'wanan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.